In the meantime, drug companies are working around the clock to develop a vaccine. States are issuing new restrictions amid a surge in cases across the country. Teo Torres is working from home this morning. He has more on the new guidelines and how people are reacting. Good morning. Good morning to both of you. One week after the U.S. reached 10 million cases, it surpassed the 11 million mark. It's leading some state leaders to reimpose some of the strictest regulations that we've seen since this pandemic began. Now, Washington State, for example, the governor there laid out new rules prohibiting indoor service at restaurants, bars, gyms, movie theaters, bowling alleys, and museums. Indoor gatherings with people outside of their household are prohibited. The only exception is if you quarantine for two weeks or quarantine for one week and then test negative. The new regulations take effect tonight and they do last for four weeks. Now in Virginia, new guidelines on bars and restaurants took effect at midnight. They are now required to stop selling alcohol at 10 p.m. and close by midnight. One manager is worried about the impact on his business because that's right during peak hours. For a lot of bars, it that 10 o'clock to 2 a.m. hour is where most of the profits come from. We all just got staff back, and that's a big issue for us now to turn around and say, hey, a lot of you I'm not going to be able to keep through this because I'm not going to be able to hit those sales. Now, Virginia is also reducing the number of people allowed at public and private gatherings from 250 to 25 people. Now, the state's mask mandate will now apply to kids as young as five years old. Previously, it was only for people aged 10 and older. Now, Michigan has also announced new limits on gatherings for three weeks, and that includes a ban on indoor dining and pausing in-person learning at high schools and even colleges. Now, that decision was criticized, though, by Scott Atlas, a senior member of the White House Coronavirus Task Force, who tweeted in part, the only way this stops is if people rise up. The state's attorney general called his comments disappointing and ultimately irresponsible. Back to you. All right, Teo, thank you. A Sacramento County church held indoor services over the weekend, even though it's restricted under the purple widespread risk tier. Sacramento County is now in the purple tier, which means worship services must be held outdoors only or outside with 100 people or 25% capacity, whichever is less. But that didn't stop people from flocking to New Season Church in South Sacramento yesterday. Lead pastor Samuel Rodriguez allowed the indoor service, saying praying inside a church is a essential. Churches are essential. We know how to gather. We're big boys and girls. We know how to be responsible, wearing masks, social distancing, temperature checking. If we could do it at Target, if we could do it at liquor stores, we can do it in God's house. Pastor Rodriguez says he's considering a legal challenge against the state. Sacramento health officials are urging the County Board of Supervisors to approve an emergency ordinance. It would include penalties for businesses that violate COVID-19 guidelines. That means potential fines for bars and gyms. It's not clear whether that would include churches.